So Scott, give me your worst AI strategy. My worst AI strategy, Like Dale? your most terrible AI strategy. Oh, this is fun. So I'll give you some examples I've seen in the market. So let's say you're head of AI for a big company, right? So the first thing you do is you show up and you hire this team, this huge team of like data scientists, you know. PhDs. Yeah, PhDs, the best universities. And then once you get them together, you say, hey, go study the best self-driving cars, GPT-3, the latest research, and then send them off to the races. And then you talk to a consultant who goes, oh, AI first, data, I got you. Here's what you do. Go to each line of business and get all that data poured into a central place. And then you're off to, and you're, you're all set because now you get the data in one place. You got an amazing AI team. What's left to do? So you basically, you just shovel the money in, you sprinkle over the AI, and then now it popped insights. Exactly. And that, to me, Dale, is one of the worst ways you could do AI in enterprise today. But Dale, you've actually had success in delivering AI for people. So what are you doing differently than what we just described? Thank you. Uh, I think for me, it's sort of like people often get distracted with the MLAI, the solution. But I like to think much more about the problem and then maybe machine learning is the solution or maybe not. Like, for example, I want to translate my videos so people all over the world can, can listen to them. And it turns out that ML is a great way to do that. Or I want to easily search through a video or archive. Or I'm a retailer and I want to know how much inventory to stock so I need to predict demand. So once you have the problem clear in your mind, it's much easier to know if you've solved it with machine learning. I Dale, what you just described, that's actually a best practice. You know what? I think what you're doing, you kind of flipped it, right? So you're almost like the business problem first and then the AI to solve that problem. It's almost like you're carving an AI mullet, Dale, which is like business in front, AI party in the back. I, I, that's exactly it. Yeah. And aren't we actually at Google putting together a, a book or a, a, some guide about how to build AI mullets? The next best thing, the Google AI guidebook shows you how to think about and structure machine learning projects. And then once you've done that, you can actually build out your solution on Vertex AI, which is Google's new machine learning development platform. Oh, cool. So if I'm watching this and if I follow the links and I read the guide and I use Vertex, I can carve this beautiful AI mullet for my enterprise and as a result, have the outcome we all seek for AI. Is that right? Absolutely. Well, thank you, Dale. It's great chatting with you and I want to see you online. Thanks, Scott.